many fans are sure that Anya was unfairly ahead of Sasha. But the Russian rocket itself gave silver into the hands of a rival. Russian figure skaters staged an extravaganza at the European Championships, winning a full podium for the eighth time in history. Voliva won gold, while Cherbakova and Trusova repeated their previous results at the Continental Championship, receiving silver and bronze, respectively. And if Camila's victory did not cause anyone any questions, then the disputes about the final places of Sasha and Anya do not subside. Many believe that it was the Russian rocket that was supposed to be the second because she performed two clean quads against one of her opponent, plus she had an impressive margin in the short one. The fans were wondering, where did Sasha's advantage go? And some of them even rushed to accuse Anya of undeserved assessments. Having faced the truth, it is worth admitting that Trusova personally gave the silver into the hands of Sherbakova. To make sure of this, it is enough to coolly review the minutes of their speeches. There are a lot of interesting things there. In the free program, the base cost of all elements is higher for Trusova than for Sturbakova, 83.57 points against 73.68. The difference of almost 10 points is provided, of course, by more complex jumps for Sasha. After all, four quad, flip, salkow, sheepskin coat and lutz, cannot be cheaper than content with one quad flip from Anya. However, the quad Lutz of the coward was lowered due to the lack of cool to the cost of a triple, potentially, the base cost of the elements could be even higher. It was possible to minimize the gap in the Sturbakova database due to expensive cascades. The cheapest of them for Anya is a triple flip, triple sheepskin coat, 9.50 points, and Sasha has a double axle, triple sheepskin coat, 7.50 points. That's already minus 2 points difference. Shcherbakova was able to win another 1100s thanks to her most expensive cascade, triple Lutz, triple Ritberger, 11.88 points. Trusova's most expensive cascade was a triple Lutz Euler, triple Salkow, 11.77 points. And Anya's triple flip, Euler, Salkow and Sasha's triple Lutz, triple sheepskin coat are equal in base cost. 11.11 points. Non-jump elements also helped Sturbakova to reduce the difference in the base with the coward. More precisely, one of them is the path of steps, which Anya was put on the fourth level, and Sasha, on the third. It seems like nonsense, the advantage is only 0.6 points, but sometimes it is such trifles that decide the fate of medals. The remaining non-jump elements of both skaters had the same basic cost. In total, we get 9. 89 points of advantage from Coward on the base. If it were not for the lowering of the quad Lutz to triple, it would be 14.9. In fairness, such points should have been enough to defeat Sturbakova. But for this, the Russian rocket had to ride cleanly. And Sasha, let's be honest, did not show the best rental, and she leveled her initial superiority. What is the use of a high base cost of elements if these elements are executed with errors? Of her four quads, Sasha jumped cleanly exactly half, flip and salkow. That is, one quadruple jump more than Sturbakova's. There is not such a significant difference in the complexity of the programs. Especially for the current world champion with generous components from the judges. Let's turn back to the numbers. The fall from the coward's sheepskin coat led to the loss of half of the base cost, 4.75 points. And the fall from the Lutz was supplemented by a lack of cool, which is why Sasha's most expensive quadruple was lowered to triple. And please, instead of 11.50 points for quad Lutz, she has only 3.54. Mistakes on two jumps in one fell swoop took away 12.71 points for technique. But Sasha also almost lost her most expensive triple Lutz, Euler, triple Salkow Cascade. By a miracle she was able to twist the jumps almost from the spot, but allowed a noticeable pause between them. In fact, she was even lucky that only 1.18 points were taken away from her for this. The dry separation of Sasha from Anya in the arbitrary turned into some 1.01 points. By the way, Trusova's allowances for purely executed jumps were generally higher than Sturbakova's. But, unfortunately, the decline due to the fall brought them to naught. Four clean jumping elements allowed Sasha 
to score an additional 11.49 points, while Sturbakova's bonus for all seven was 12.62. If Sasha had not had falls, the advantage would have been on her side. But they were, so goodbye, the last point of the difference. Anya is ahead by 12 hundredths. And do not forget about the allowances for the quality of performance of non-jump elements, Anya always received more for rotations and tracks than Sasha. This European Championship was no exception, 7.8 points plus to the base cost of Anya and 5.5 points to the base of Sasha. Voila. Sturbakova beats Trusova in the free technique by 2. 42 points. Sturbakova's technique alone, of course, would not have been able to beat Trusova in Talon. First of all, Anya was helped by traditionally high components. The title of world champion matters. Although objectively, Anya deserved a good second grade for a clean rental in any case. In all components, she was given 9 points, and as a result, her second score was 74.27 points. Sasha, for whom components have always been a weak point, did not leave the judges a chance to change the policy towards herself with her two falls. In case of gross errors according to the rules, it is impossible to put more than 8.75 points for the presentation and interpretation of the program and more than 9.25 points for the skill of skating, transitions and composition. And Cruella is already made for jumping. It was not supposed to conquer the judges with choreography and bundles in it. So they did not encourage Sasha as much as possible. She scored only 69.55 points for the components. Let's add here more penalties for falls they took two points from the Russian rocket. Thus, according to the second assessment, Shcherbakova's advantage over Trusova was 6.72 points. This is even more than Anya's lag behind Sasha in the short program. We add 2.42 points, with which she beat Trusova in technique, and here are the same 9.14 points in favor of Anya in the free program. No magic. Just a clean hire against a performance with gross mistakes. Perhaps not everyone will agree that in Anya's protocol everything is on the case and nothing was accidentally blinked there. But why these quibbles when Sasha gave everything herself? And I missed not even silver, but gold. There was no need to fall, and the order on the pedestal would be different. But in sports, as in history, there is no subjunctive mood.